Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the game which took place yesterday in the FA Cup 4th round at Stamford Bridge between Chelsea and Sheffield Wednesday, which Chelsea ended up winning by 3 goals to nil. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review, is that firstly I'll be giving you the lineup in which Maurizio Sarri filled it at the start of the game, then I'll give you my thoughts on the game itself, and lastly I'll give you my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming fixture against Bournemouth, which will be played at Dean Court, or in other words, the Vitality Stadium. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So starting off with the lineup, like I said, it was a 4-3-3 with that deep line playmaker involved. And in terms of the personnel in which Maurizio Sarri went with, he went with Willy Caballero in goal. He went with a back four from right to left of Cesar Aspilicueta, Antonio Rudiger, Andres Christensen and Marcos Alonso. He went with a midfield three of Ethan Ampadu in that deep line playmaker role with Ross Barkley and Mateo Kovacic just ahead of him. And he went with a front three from right to left of Callum Hudson-Odoi. Yes, Callum Hudson-Odoi was playing in the right wing position, so I got that wrong in my team sheet reaction. I do apologise for that, but um, the front three was Willian. I mean, no, sorry, I made the, I made the same mistake in which I just apologised for. <laughs> um, I, I mean, um, the front three consisted consisted of Callum Hassan Odoi in the right wing, right, right wing position, Gonzalo Higuain up top, and Willian in the left wing position. So getting into my thoughts on the first half, I thought that it was it wasn't it wasn't the best um, first half from Chelsea, but it wasn't the worst. Um, we ended up going into half, half time with a one 0 lead, and I'll talk to you about the penalty in a second. But um, our overall performance in the first half wasn't great. We were a bit slow. We didn't create all too much um, going forward. We were passing sideways. There was a lack of penetration. To be honest, there was there wasn't too many too many um, chances. For us, um, we only had we I believe we only ended the game with three shots on target. But like I said, based on the, based on I mean in, in the first half, um, we didn't really create too many chances in the first half. That's all I can say. But um, the penalty, definite penalty. I'm sorry, I don't understand how the Sheffield Wednesday fans were complaining about the um, about the um, the usage of VAR throughout the entire game when when. Um, the penalty um, in which the, in which was originally given to them was not a penalty, and the one in which was given to us was correctly given as a penalty. Um, I think I think the referee had a had a really good game yesterday, so um, um so credit to him. But getting into the penalty itself, um, brilliant penalty. William just stuck it into the top right corner, and that's his that's his fiftieth goal for us. Now that's um, pretty much all I have to say on the first half. Getting into my thoughts on the second half. I thought that we were a lot better. Um, and by the way, I'm just going to say that Sheffield Wednesday did turn up. They they were very strong defensively. They made it very very hard for us. So credit to them. And if they play like that, then they, that if they play like that, then they can definitely survive relegation, because they are close to the relegation spots in um, the championship. But yes, um, the second half was a lot better. We scored two more goals. Um, Callum Hudson Odoi getting the um, second goal for us. Uh, I cannot remember who passed the ball to him. I think it was Mateo Kovacic. He was in the right wing position as he was deployed. Um, I mean, where he was deployed, sorry. He cuts in, shoots with his weak, weaker left foot. It does take a deflection off the keeper, but it, was, it went in and went into the bottom. It, it, it took a deflection off the keeper, sorry for stuttering, and it went into the bottom corner. But it's his goal because the shot was on target. And to be honest, he played really well. And it was good to see him get 90 minutes. Um, that's the second goal, and then the third goal in the game, which won us the game. Brilliant goal. William gives the ball to Olivier Giroud, I believe it was. He gets the ball back, and he just curls it into the bottom corner. Um, again, the keeper had no chance, but yeah, um, based on the way, based on the fact that we took our chances, we did deserve to win. But other than that, um, I think it was fairly even in terms of the overall play because Sheffield Wednesday, like I said already, made it very hard for us and they can be proud of their performance because um, they they gave it their all. Um, and if 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 um, if it was pro it probably um, they probably would have scored if it was a, if it was on a different day. But credit to them, like I said already, and hopefully they, hopefully they survive relegation because they are, they are actually all right. But getting into my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming fixture against Bournemouth, or AFC Bournemouth rather, which will be played on Wednesday at 7.45pm UK time. I think that will be a really tough game. I think that Bournemouth can cause us trouble because they've done that in the past. Um, since, the, since they've been promoted to the Premier League, they haven't beaten us at their ground yet. So um, they'd probably want to... They'd probably want 
to do that. So don't be surprised if they if they um, play really well and if they put us on the back foot. But with the way we've been playing recently, or in the last two games, I I do have a bit of confidence in me that we can. I do have a bit of. I do have a bit of confidence, in terms of um, getting getting a result and grinding it out. But I'm not saying that we are going to win. I just think that we can win and put in a good good performance. But that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all very soon. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come on, you blues, and peace.